must have been the same class as the not so popular Casey Adams. He always messed up things anywhere from projects to snowman. I never really liked him, but I was going to have to learn how to. Because the teacher had assigned us as a group together. So this is it, I thought. Today I'll be known as the least popular person for the entire year. I knew that if I talked to him, he would think we were the best friends ever. The project was about to be assigned to us, then Casey turned around and said, Hey, are you Jackson? That's my name, don't wear it out. I had realized how rude my comment was and tried to take it back, but it was no use. The teacher came around and gave each group a project. Me and Casey's project was to build a castle out of cards. Then I realized that Casey had drank an extra coffee in the cafe today. He was even more jittery than before. She handed us some playing cards and told us to get started, and so we did. Casey had literally vibrated the cards off the table. Let's try that again, I said. So Casey made a faulty risk and jeopardized the whole thing, and suddenly it fell. At this point, I'm about to give up. I'm never going to finish this project with him around, I thought. Then Casey asked the teacher if he could use the restroom. This may be my chance. I immediately started scrambling for a plan. I'll glue each card one by one, then turn it in. I tried but had no luck. The cards just wouldn't stay up. Could I have been me? So I decided to test my theory. When Casey came back, I took a break and watched him do it himself. He steadily put the cards in place, one after the other. He was actually getting pretty far. Well, I thought, this proves my theory if it was me or Casey. It was me. And if I had known it was me, I probably wouldn't have expected him to mess up. I guess that I heard so much about him messing up things last year. I guess I was thinking it was him, not me. He darn well finished that project and turned it in. I never thought lowly of him again.